Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be showing you my 2023 setup for my Hobonichi Day Free. This is my first time um, purchasing a Day Free. Normally the videos that I tend to watch on YouTube to kind of see if like what exactly I wanted to get going into um, the new year, I looked at weeks, of course, but I had a weeks this year for the first time, but I was debating whether or not I wanted to do a cousin. So I was watching like a lot of cousin videos to kind of see if I can actually utilize it, if I could commit to it first, but then be able to utilize it. I decided to kind of drop down, I would say, and just get the day free to see how well I utilize this size and see if I liked it and maybe 2024 is something I'll invest in. So I have this in my coach cover. I got this cover in October for my birthday and I'm just so glad that I found a way to use it because if you watched my Hobonichi haul, um, I purchased a cover, but the cover was too big for this. Um, so I have to use the cover for something else, like a different notebook. But needless to say, I didn't really have anything specific that I wanted to use this for. So it fits perfect and I love it. So this is, I, at first I wasn't going to cover it with stickers or anything, but I don't really like the blue to be honest. So I felt like I just wanted to cover it. These are all stickers that I feel like I can look at throughout the whole year without feeling a certain way about it or wanting to change it. So the stickers that I used for on the outside, I keep them in here because I have so many stickers. Um, these are just all book-related stickers, and I got these from Amazon. These are Jesus stickers. Um, these are, um, um, where did I get these? Came, these actually came as a set and I had two, two other ones, but, um, gosh, now I'm thinking about where the other, uh, two packs came with, but I finally decided to use these here. So I have this for the cover. I really like it. I like how the stickers that I chose blend in with the color. And yeah, so this planner um, or this day free, I'm going to be using for my goals. So I'll be doing like a goals check-in monthly. Monthly, I'll write out my goals and then do like a monthly review on how well I felt like I reached them. So my yearly goals will go on here and that is how I'll break up um, monthly what I want to accomplish. I am, well, I'm going into this next year with a intentional mindset. So that's why I did want something separate for the goals, but I also wanted a way for me to just hone in and truly track what I'm doing. And, and that means track it, be it good or bad. Like if I'm not being intentional and I'm not reaching my goals, um, I wanna be able to clearly see without seeing like other things that I'm planning in the notebook. Um, I wanted to clearly be able to see improvements and strengths. So this is what this will be used for. Um, again, if you watched my Hobonichi Weeks, set up for 2023 definitely go check that out if you haven't already done so i wanted to go minimum because i wanted to be able to allow myself space to change anything or add anything as i go along so i decided not to put any stickers on these pages i did a very simple sticker right here um because i feel like it just goes with anything it just just looking at this um helps me calm down because I'm not looking at so much going on and that's kind of what I want to have for this goals notebook I didn't use or think of anything as far as what I want to do with the calendars that's why I didn't try to cover them or anything like that I think what I'm going to end up doing 
for this side is just highlighting uh, my pay periods that I have so I can see it at a glance. These stickers right here, I was so happy I'm finally able to utilize them. That's one goal that I have in terms of just personal wise, really utilizing my stickers and getting them down before I purchase anything else because I feel like stickers is my weakness. But oddly so, at the same time of me wanting to buy and buying a lot of stickers, most times I don't even use them because I keep telling myself, oh, I'm gonna wait to use it for this. Oh, this is this, this planner, I'm not gonna use it for this. But I really use these and I was proud of myself. Um, and this is where I got it from, uh, this section right here. And I like paper, uh, the Paper Studio stickers because it just has such a good variety and this size fits in and will fit into my weeks or anything like this. Um, so even if I was using a smaller planner uh, or notebook, I'd be able to see it. And so as you can see, I have been using them. I want to just continue to work on using what I have. So <clears throat> I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with this. I didn't know if, I didn't know. I didn't know if I wanted to put like three main goals for that month and then just add like birthdays down here or big significant things. Um, down here is where I'm more so confused at. These uh, three spaces right here, I think I'm gonna use for the highlight of the month goals. And then that's something at a glance I can always remind myself of. So again, I used the stickers. I was so happy and proud of myself. <clears throat> and I also used this, um, this sticker book for all of the days of the week as well. So I didn't go totally off the rails and do all the months, but I did do six, I believe. So I did December through June, um, and I didn't really fill out the rest. I kind of stopped at one point. So uh, I already started because December is right, December is now. And so you'll see right now I'm reading the book Man's Search for Meaning. And because I kind of started this in December, I was already on page 48. So I just am going to track my reading on here. Um, so that was pretty cool. And today is actually, <clears throat> where's the eighth now? Cause it's 12, 19, but um, I ended today on page 98. I started at 48. So this is just a good, clear way for me to be able to see, hey, have I made any progress at all in whatever it is that I'm trying to do? So that's really important for me. Um, and so uh, when you get past the month, I wanted to do a vision board. So again, definitely check my video out if you haven't for my Hobonichi Weeks 2023 setup. I did do a vision board, board in that planner as well because I just want to be able to constantly see what it is I'm working toward. Um, and I just want that reminder as much as I can. So I have a small one. You know, the weeks is definitely smaller than this. But I just added some things that are part of my goals like healthy eating. The Mediterranean diet is something that I really, really want to be intentional and put my best foot forward um, for 2023 and success is something that's important to me um actually this year um 2022 was one of my one of my goals for 2022 was to take my licensing exam um i'm still waiting on paperwork to come through so that didn't happen that's definitely a goal that's going to carry over into 2023. So that's why I have success here because I am really praying for a success on that test. You'll see discipline is what's in the middle. 
and I purposely put discipline in the middle because I feel like without discipline and self-control, none of the rest of the goals um, or the vision that's around it will be able to be obtained because I feel like with discipline, um, I'll be able to accomplish everything else because I'll have like a, a way of doing things, a way of living. So drinking water is definitely something that's on my list. I swear every year is something that I'm always working toward. Um, true friends and just, um, just being active with my friends. I'm an introvert and so it doesn't really bother me to be by myself or be alone. It's something that I actually like doing, but I know the benefits of having social interaction. So it's something that I have to try to be intentional with. And it's also something that I'm going to be tracking in here as well. So that's that's why I said for this section, I wasn't really sure how or what I wanted to utilize it for. So maybe I'll do like outings, something that I really struggle with. Um, so maybe birthdays and outings or something like that. Um, and you'll see healthy sleeping because my sleeping sucks. I do not sleep nearly halfway um, as much as I should. Money because, of course, I want to build my savings and just get rid of some debt. Um, this one says believe in yourself. And that kind of connects with all of them, I would say, but more so um, taking my licensing exam, but also with unhealthy eating because because I failed so many times at being consistent with healthy eating and consistent with drinking water, um, it can be hard for me to believe in myself sometimes. I'm like, oh yeah, you set this stuff up, but I never do it. Yoga is another thing that I used to do pretty regularly and I stopped and Yoga was really helping me out emotionally and mentally more so than it was physically. So it's something that I definitely want to get back in along with meditation. And this goal right here is because I do want to focus on investments and just um, working on having assets. So um, this is my vision board. It's something that I'll be able to see before I go into anything else. So this page right here, um, next after that, I wanted to actually list my yearly goals. Um, so that way I'll have that right after the vision board. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to decorate the whole page. At first I got this because I was thinking, okay, well, oh, I didn't even see this on this side. So I was thinking I could utilize this all, all these over here but then I that's before I turned around and saw it's another set on the back because I wanted to use a couple of these for January going into my other planner so um I'll probably put some washi and just utilize all of these for here and then do my goals on this side uh, more than likely that's what I'll do and then I'm gonna go into the monthly goal so here, once I go into the monthly goal, I'll have like my goals for the month and then a reflection at the end of the month or on how well I felt like I did with working toward the goal for that month. And that's what I plan on doing in here. Um, I plan on just putting a couple of other things in that's related toward my goals. So if it's a book that stands out, that I felt like I finished and is worthy of noting and remembering and making some notes by, then I'll definitely do that. And I can already say that a man's search for meaning is definitely something that's going to be in here. And just some things that I learn or think about that's significant that I can add along the way. And that's whether it's a scripture or anything that I feel is important to me reaching my goals. So that is how I plan on using um, this day free. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely um, comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know if you have a day free. How are you going to use yours? And what types of things are you going to put in it? And 
if you've used a day free before. This is something totally new to me. Um, and I know it's videos on YouTube, but it's like a lot of videos on the cousins and stuff. So I've been trying to look, but I know this will be my goal one. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.